Hi, and welcome back to everybody's garage. Today, this is going to be a fairly short video, but I, I need to prove to everyone that I am actually zip tie certified. So, uh, my fellow YouTuber and lawnmower guru, Tommy Time, put up a video. Uh, he actually offered a certification course in zip ties and offered us a certification if we were able to prove that we were, you know, we were certified in this area. So, now, back when I was an auto mechanic, I, I was actually ASC certified, and I had to go through yearly tests for this type of thing. So, I think it's important that I actually show that, yes, I am actually zip tie certified. So we're going to go ahead and show you a couple areas where I can do this. Now, I'm going to show you how to do the cable on one of these mowers. Now, let's never mind the fact that, the, that the, it's actually broken up top. Okay, this cable is junk. It's good for absolutely nothing. But the fact that we can hold it down, that, that's what we're looking for. So... Give me a second here and we'll go ahead and take care of that part. So, so in this case, your cable is, you know, it's flopping in the breeze. I don't like it a bit. So we gotta fix that. That should do it. So, like I said, this this cable is just that's just bad. All right. So, now normally you could actually take a zip tie and go, you know, around a thing like such, and it would hold it no problem. But we're gonna get all professional here. We're actually, you know, there's a hole in this handle that you would go through and you're gonna go ahead and put it through as such and put your zip tie in there. Look at that, perfect. Now, if you really wanna get professional, you can go ahead and Clip that off of there, and that thing looks like it's better than factory. So, that part being done, I got that part of the certification. So, over here, this is your typical E Series engine. Um, this is a mower I'm actually fixing, but let's just say that you took one of these things in and it was missing the air filter cover which most of them are, I'm sure Tommy would agree. Uh, it's kind of like the, the, the socks in the dryer thing. They just disappear. They, you know, nobody knows what happened to them. But anyway, you want to mow your lawn with this thing. And, you know, obviously if you were to try and mow like this, your air filter is going to pop out, fall under the mower, and next thing you know is that's the end of it. So we gotta hold this thing in place. So we'll go ahead like such. So we'll go ahead and stick her back in place. Now this is a uh you know Tommy had mentioned about uh putting two zip ties together to make to make the thing meet, which is fine, I get it. I'm gonna show you another way. All right, we're gonna go ahead and zip, do, do one off the top, like so, and then we'll turn around and take one on the bottom, zap it through. We're gonna loop it up through like so, Uh-oh, it's not long enough. 
Now, what are we gonna do? That's all right, we'll just zip, zip another one in there. As such, all right, and you have to, you know, the, the placement of these things is kind of critical because that way you can actually hold it in place. So you're gonna go in like such. Look at that. Perfect. So we're gonna head right there. Go ahead and snip your ends off. And this is actually gonna kind of look professional. <laughs> Not that I would uh, sell a mower like this, but look at this. Your primer bulb, you can still get to it no problem. And your air filter will not fall out of there. And just for... Just for my uh, comparison, here's my old uh, uh, the salad shooter. And that, that this actually mower actually belongs to me. I did not cut the ends off of them. I don't want it to look too professional because it's my own mower, but it does work so anyway i hope you guys would all agree that i am zip tie uh, zip tie certified and i hope you enjoyed this video and we will be back for more shortly